Hello and welcome to the Rafi Solution channel. I am Rafael Ademo. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to make user form transparent and blend with the application's background nicely using the Windows API functions. The beauty of using transparent user form is that it allows you to see what is being entered on the worksheet or allows you to view your decorative desktop background whilst you carry out your work. Let's now go into the VBA editor and learn how we can create this transparent background using the Windows API functions. To do this, let's click on the developer tab, then go into the visual basic and then click on it. When the VBA editor open, add a user form to your VBA project by going to insert and then add a new user form. Let's add a text box to the user form, a command button to the user form also and then with the command button let me increase the font size to let's say 24, make it bold. With this basic design done. Now let us go into the code and add the Windows API functions to the user form. So let me click here and then with this user form click, let me take it out. I'll provide a link in the comment section where you can download and use this code in your application. Now let me highlight and copy these lines of code. Copy it and then come into the user form general declaration area and paste the code. These codes are the Windows API functions. I have talked about the enormous amount of help that we can get from using Windows API functions in developing our applications. Watch the tutorials, adding minimize and maximize button to the user form title bar, hide the user form title bar, add icon to user form title bar and others to learn more about how you can use Windows API to make your VB application come to life. The second step that we have to carry out is to add a set transparency procedure to the form. So let me go back to the code and then copy this line of codes from here to here. Copy it and then come come into the VB codes area and then paste it. Let me briefly explain this procedure. The purpose of this code is to set the transparency level which I have assigned the parameter called alpha. It is worthy to note that user form transparency is not controlled by any control property but rather it is controlled by the color of the lower left pixel. Therefore you can control the level of the user form transparency by increasing or decreasing the alpha byte number. When the number is zero it means that the user form is completely transparent. However when the number is 255 it means that the user form is completely opaque. So in the user form initialize event, let me call this set transparency level. I've also provided the code here so you can just go back to the code and then copy this and then come and paste this line of code here. So now let's let us change the set transparency level to zero and run the application to see what happens. We see that the user form has blended completely with the background and so as a result of that we cannot see the user form even though the application appears to be in a running mode. Let me go back and once again make it 100 and let's run the user form. Now you can see the user form in the background and it appears a little bit hazy. So let's log out and then come back here and then increase it to let's say 180. Let's increase the level of transparency to 180 and now run the user form. The transparency level of the user form has changed. Let us exit once more. Now then set the transparency level to 230 and let's run it to see. So the user form now appears brighter than the previous one. Let me now set it to 255 
and run the application once more. So now you see that the opacity of the user form is now complete and now the user form appears brighter and sharper than we had previously. With this, I have come to the end of another tutorial on the use of Windows API functions. Subscribe now to be the first to know when I come your way with another exciting, informative and educative tutorial on this channel. If you have any question, do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section. Please help me to grow this channel by recommending it to your friends and family. Thank you and bye bye for now.